Ada Results Day is not just a matter of turning up with your friends, getting that envelope, looking at the envelope, being all happy, and then going to the pub with your friends. Unfortunately, there is a bit more to it than that. And the more to it than that starts the preparation for Ada Results Day because you can't just turn up and expect everything to be fine because you need to do some preparation for it. Now, obviously, plan A is turn up, get envelope, see brilliant results, confirm the protein at university, everyone will be happy, go to the pub. That's plan A. But for some of you, plan A is not going to be the, the plan that happens. We need to have plan B in place. And you need to have plan B in place before you go to school on a number of results day because things are going to happen very, very quickly if plan B needs to happen. Now, Hopefully it won't, but if it does happen, this is what we need to do very quickly. So plan B comes into place if you don't get the grades and you don't get your fuel firm offer, you don't get your insurance offer, in which case you need to go through clearing if you still want to go to university. No, you don't have to, but that's a whole separate video. Clearing places will go very, very, very quickly. Now, the clearing places are already up on the website. You can go and search for those already, and that's what I want you to do because other people will. Universities want to fill their courses. They You pay to go to university. Universities want to take your money off you. They're not going to sit around waiting for the, the most amazing person to turn up who is a genius but turns up two weeks later on the off chance that they may or may not turn up when they know they can fill their places with people that are actively contacting them. So it's not as if they're going to hold places just in case somebody better turns up. They want those places filled. They want them filled quickly. So the quicker you are on that phone to that university on a little results date, if you're going through clearing, the better. But as you know, picking your university place is a big, big decision. And it's not something that you can just do really, really quickly. You know how long it took you to fill in your UCAS application forms. So what I want you to do is think about it now. Get plan B in place now. Get your worst case scenario plan in place now. So what if you got like three grades below? So like one grade below for cross each other. What if you got two grades below? Go through, look at the places, do your research as if you were starting again. Look at the accommodation, look at the YouTube videos of people that are there currently. What do they think of it? Do they like it? Do they not like it? And then go into school with that list on results day um, so that you can say, right, I didn't get the grades, right, we can we can cry about that later, let's get on with plan B because other people will be getting on with plan B and if you do not hurry up with it, then you're going to miss out on those places. So what you need to do before any results day is plan for the worst. Go through clearing, see who has places and see what you can or can't get onto. Um, I'm going to be here with you throughout the whole of results day answering questions. I'm going to be doing so many lives um, across everywhere. Um, I'm going to be here with you. We're going to get it sorted. Ouch! This is why in some videos I explain scratches.